Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. As you guys can see, I got the truck running and right now it is five o'clock. It is that beautiful time of the year in Michigan where it does get dark in the Midwest, as you guys know, at about five o'clock, 5.15. So I've actually been camping out here for about 15, 20 minutes, waiting for the sun to finally set to get you guys some before and after video and footage. But on this video, I wanted to talk to you guys on Truck Talk Tuesday and cover something that was really important to me when buying my truck, and that is talking about lighting, lighting options, and lighting solutions. As you guys know, we got the brand new truck in the background here. It is a 2017 F-250. And this one right here, as you guys can see, comes equipped with a quad beam LED headlights. Now, this is one of the uh, upgrades that I was very adamant about while uh, picking out my new truck which was a whole fiasco in its own right. I got another video for that one. But with my new truck, one thing that was really, really important to me was making sure that the truck had those quad beam LED headlights. Now standard, they have the regular uh, halogen type headlights, whatever you want to call them. And they are great. There's nothing wrong with them. They have some great visibility. But now what I wanted to do is, yes, you've got your brand new truck. Yes, I wanted it to look cool. And yes, I wanted to make sure that it popped, right? It's going to be my baby. And you know what? Let's just be real. Accessorizing your truck, adding things to it that's it's just the name of the game when you buy something new. It's just a big fun toy, and again, you're a kid in the candy store, right? So the quad beam LED headlights, they were about $1,100 option. Honestly, I feel like that's a little expensive for what they are, but you know what? It is what it is, but they really make the truck stand out really nice, and they really make it pop when it's heading down the road. Now, as you guys can see right here, we have the Boss DXT Plow, and it comes with their SL3 lighting system, and this is going to give you the extra lighting you need when you're plowing snow. Now, standing in the Lyriot, we have the two fog lights on both sides. We have the uh, LED wrapped uh, quad beam lights, the C channels, and then we also have the actual light up here. This is your regular headlight, not the necessarily the C channel, that's just more of an accent. Now another accessory to me that was really important was finding this truck was without any lights on top. Now this right here is the Recon uh, Accessory Light Kit for the 2017 uh, Aluma Duty, and this right here is their white LED lights. These right here are about $140 to $200 depending on what kind of sales they have going on. Now on these cab lights, you can have the smoked out LED version, you can have the crystal clear version, and you can also have the amber. Me personally, I went with the smoked out version because I wanted them to pop when we're driving during the day and when the white LEDs are lit at night, it really accentuates those quad beam LED headlights and they look really cool. To be honest with you guys, I was really interested in having the ones that strobe, but unfortunately at the time of this recording, Ford hasn't released those licenses yet for these guys to make the uh, white where it uh, can turn into a strobe light or the amber where it can turn into a strobe light for the 2017s. Now I will tell you guys, it was a little pricey getting this installed. You can switch these out if you have the regular factory cab lights install which I believe are a $95 option when you buy the vehicle but if you want you can always rip these out put new ones in no big deal for 150 200 bucks this truck I bought it actually did not come with any cab lights at all so the guys at the dealer had to take some time and install these now when you buy a super duty all the holes up top for the cab lights are already pre-drilled but that doesn't mean that they don't have to drill through the roof a little bit to make sure that they attach them with the watertight seals the screws the bolts and all that hardware so it is gonna cost you probably about $250 for a dealer install if you don't have cab lights so make sure you factor that in if you also pick up the recons because that could end up being about 400 bucks all right guys this is a shot of the truck a little bit more at night it's about 5 30 just been hanging out but you can see how bright these lights are absolutely love it dude when these things come down the road at you or they're in your rear view mirror hate to be that guy but you know what gotta light up that road and blind a few people in the process, but let's be honest, it just makes the truck look really, really nice, really, really sharp. So like I said, I really like the fog lamps with the LED lights. I also like the recons up on top. We added a Falcon 18 inch LED light bar for snow removal. This one also comes with the box lighting on the inside of the bed. And then of course, you've got the beautiful looking tail lights that are, I don't think they're really LED, but they have a really nice red finish to them. They really pop when you're going down the road and they look really, really nice. By the way, if a lot of you guys are wondering what it looks like when you turn on the plow lights, this is the SL3 lighting system. It overrides the quad beams. Now, if I turn the lights on, I think the C channels will still run, don't quote me, but this is what it looks like when you have your plow engaged. Now, as you guys probably know, the reason they have the plow lights is because the plow is going to get in the way of your headlights and it can't shine through, so we need the lighting system on top. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but these are extremely bright on their own. And you know what? 
they definitely make it a lot easier to plow. Uh, I like these LEDs versus the halogens. So again, I really like the SL3 lighting system. So all things being said, guys, it's getting a little dark. It's actually about five degrees. So I'm gonna jump back in the truck. I didn't bring my heavy jacket, but I really wanted to show these off to you guys. Uh, this is Truck Talk Tuesday, and I really wanted to spend a few minutes with you guys showing you something that was a really big add-on and feature for me, uh, a really big accessory that I wanted to add to my vehicle. And that was really good lighting. It really helps with your, uh, your night vision. It really helps with your, uh, honestly, just making the truck look really cool when it sits out right and you're driving during the day. I can have those C-channel uh, running lights on and they definitely make the truck look real mean when you're coming down the road. I will tell you guys straight up, these quad beam headlights are the brightest lights I've currently seen on any vehicle, in my opinion. I've got an Infinity with the HID uh, hyper white lights, very similar, but you know what? These are still outshining my Infinity, probably two to one, which is crazy. So let me know, are you guys in the market for some different accessories? I will tell you this, as soon as they remove this side skirt here and they make it uh, LED lit, I'm definitely gonna upgrade to that. Maybe we're in a sponsorship on that. Who knows, who cares, but you know what? If it's 150, 200 bucks, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna definitely upgrade that. So we can have red LED F250 sitting right there saying the name Lariat. And you know what? That's just what I like. Gotta have a cool truck, gotta make it look nice. And you know what? It's all fun, it's all accessories. It's just green stinky paper. Gotta have some fun in life, right guys? All right guys, you can probably tell I'm freezing over and out. Wanted to say a big thank you for watching myself. Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance. This is Truck Talk Tuesday. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Do me a favor, hit that like button. I'm freezing cold out here for you guys, all right? Over and out, Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.